People are leaving in droves. People are putting their houses up for sale. So some of the people are terrified to leave their homes because of looting. Porter Ranch was a thriving community. Now it's a ghost town. We don't know what to do. People are terrified, devastated. People are losing everything, not just their homes, their pride, everything that they've built for many years, everything. The gouging has been out of control. So now landlords are getting paid $16,000, $17,000 a month for what was originally a $3,000 a month house. Back in October, everybody was getting headaches and dizziness and nosebleeds. One day, we got this letter in the mail saying, by the way, there's been a gas leak. It became public. Every single day, it was getting worse and worse. My son was diagnosed with chronic lung disease, and I want to get my family out of here as soon as possible because we are all being affected by it. I have begged the gas company to please help me do a permanent relocation because I rent this house. The landlords are happily taking that $11,000 on top of whatever other people are willing to offer. I finally find a house after losing three houses because I was outbid. The gas company is only allowing us four months in the house. Now landlords are making people sign a year lease, not for the regular amount of rent, but for 11,000 a month. How am I supposed to be able to pay for an $11,000 a month house? We're gonna be homeless. They are saying to the residents, well, too bad if you are homeless. If you lose the place where you lived or it was looted, we don't care, that's not our problem. The problem is killing people slowly. They are putting a Band-Aid on a hemorrhage. People are afraid to leave their homes because of looting. They do have the option from the gas company to go and stay at a hotel. The gas company is offering $45 per person for food. They are not checking receipts anymore. So they keep the hotel, but they collect the money for the food. It's the lesser of two evils. People are gouging, people are taking money, people are making false claims. In the meantime, the innocent people who are really truly victimized are caught between the giant of the gas company, the landlords. My family will either be destroyed by this gas leak or it will make us stronger.